The array list class is a resizable array, which can be found in the java.util package. Java has a lot of array list methods that allow us to work with array lists. In this video, you will learn all the array list methods available in Java. The add method inserts an element to the array list at the specified position. If the index parameter is passed, the element is appended to the index position of the array list. The add all method adds all the elements of a collection to the array list. If the index parameter is passed, the element is appended to the index position of the array list. The Java array list clear method removes all the elements from an array list. The clear method does not take any parameters. The clear method does not return any value. Rather, it makes changes to the array list. The Java array list clone method makes the shallow copy of an array list. The clone method does not have any parameters. The clone method returns a copy of the array list object. The contains method checks if the specified element is present in the array list. The contains method takes a single parameter that is checked if present in the array list. The method returns true if the specified element is present in the array list else returns false if the specified element is not present in the array list. The Java array list get method returns the element present in specified position. The get method takes a single parameter as position of the element to be accessed. The method returns the element present in the specified position. If positin is out of the range, raises index out of bounds exception. The Java array list index of method returns the position of the specified element in the array list. The index of method takes a single parameter. Index of method returns the position of the specified element from the array list. If the same element is present in multiple location, then the position of the element that appears first in the array list is returned. If the specified element doesn't exist in the list, the index of method returns minus one. Here, the index of method successfully returns the position of element 20. However, the element 50 doesn't exist in the array list. Hence, the method returns minus 1. The remove method removes the single element from the array list. The remove method takes a single parameter. The parameter can be object or index number element that is to be removed from the array list. If the same element obj is present in multiple location, then the element that appear first in the array list is removed. The remove method returns true if specified element is present in the array list and returns the removed element if index is passed as parameter. If the specified index is out of range, the method throws index out of bounds exception. In this example, I'll show you how to remove the specified element from the array list. We have created an array list named fruits. The array list stores the name of fruits. Here, we have used the remove method to remove the element banana from the array list. The size method returns the number of elements present in the array list. The size method does not take any parameters. The size method returns the number of elements present in the array list. In this example, we have created an array list named fruits. Here, we have used the size method to get the number of elements present in the array list. The Java array list is empty method checks if the array list is empty. The is empty method does not take any parameters. Returns true if the array list does not contain any elements. Returns false if the array list contains some elements. In this example, we have created an array list named languages. Here, we have used the isEmpty method to check whether the array list contains any elements or not. Initially, the newly created array list does not contain any element. Hence, is empty returns true.
However, after adding some elements, the method returns false. The Java ArrayList sublist method extracts a portion of the ArrayList and returns it. The sublist method takes two parameters. From index parameter is the starting position from where elements are extracted. To index parameter is the ending position up to which elements are extracted. Sublist method returns a portion of ArrayList from the given ArrayList. The portion of ArrayList contains elements starting at from index and extends up to element at to index 1. That is, the element at to index is not included. In this example, we have used the sublist method to get elements from index 1 to 3. The Java ArrayList set method replaces the element present in a specified position with the specified element in an ArrayList. The set method takes two parameters. The first parameter is position of the element to be replaced. The second parameter is new element that is to be stored at index. The set method returns the element previously present at index. The set method throws index out of bounds exception if index is out of range. In this example, we have created an array list named languages. Here we found a Java language index with index of method. Then we have used the set method to replace Java language at the found index with Scala language. In this tutorial, we will learn about the Java ArrayList sort method with the help of examples. The sort method sorts the elements in an ArrayList according to the specified order. The sort method takes a single parameter as comparator interface. In this example, we have used the sort method to sort the ArrayList named languages. The natural order method of the Java comparator interface specifies that elements are sorted in natural order. The reverse order method of the comparator interface specifies that elements are sorted in reverse order. The Java ArrayList remove if method removes all elements from the ArrayList that satisfy the specified condition. The remove if method takes a single parameter. The filter parameter decides whether an element is to be removed. Return if method returns true if an element is removed from the ArrayList. If the lambda expressions returns true, the element removes from the array list. The for each method of array list used to perform the certain operation for each element in array list. This method traverses each element of the iterable of array list until all elements have been processed by the method or an exception is raised. The operation is performed in the order of iteration if that order is specified by the method. Exceptions thrown by the operation are passed to the caller. Until and unless an overriding class has specified a concurrent modification policy, the operation cannot modify the underlying source of elements so we can say that behavior of this method is unspecified. <laughs>